Um, yeah, so the title of the lecture is uh, Eastern European Government and Politics. Uh, and the idea was to give the students a brief overview about uh, the history uh, of the region. Sort of, we started by thinking about defining the region. And the interesting thing about um, Eastern European region is that there was also a sort of shifting border, what we call uh, imagined geography for, for a while. So that was um, the, the beginning of the lecture. Um, and then we have concentrated on. Um, the transition period, which has obviously significantly affected the region, and we first looked at the democratic uh, development, and then at the economic development and the transformation period, um, and then uh, I tried to relate in, in the last days of the lecture um, what we have discussed about the transition period to the current issues, current problems in the region, um, to the issues related uh, to the European Union and the Eastern enlargement uh, from one side, but also the current problems with the Russian Federation and the current crisis in Ukraine. So, um, and again, to relate it back to the beginning of um, sort of the shifting borders and um, I guess the, the special strategic position of the region between East and West. Um, so I also tried to incorporate the small review sessions um, at the beginning uh, of each lecture. Uh, and generally I had a feeling that uh, the students could summarize uh, the main message very well and they were very interested and they were also asking questions after the lectures to clarify uh, certain things. And I think generally I'm impressed because um, it is a rather complicated topic and I was introducing many technical issues from uh, also economics. Uh, so when we were trying um, to assess the economic transition um, and I think the students um, yeah, received the, the main message quite, quite well. So, uh, yeah, first of all, I was uh, very impressed about the international environment. Um, and I mean, I also read a little bit about the university that it's relatively um, young university, a relatively small. Um, but I had a feeling that uh, there are really many international uh, students and that the community here is very nice, that uh, students interact a lot with each other. And I guess I was also impressed that uh, many of foreign students uh, speak Japanese quite well. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> they are well trained. <laughs> exactly. So um, that was really nice. Uh, and generally, um, I was very impressed with the organization. So, yeah. Um, thank you so, very thank much. you for the administration. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that was really, uh, I felt very uh, welcomed and very well treated. So. Did you get to taste some Japanese food? Uh, yes, yeah, also um, tried some food on campus yeah. and, and uh, went to the shopping mall. Okay. For oh. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah. Do you have a lot of international students in Webster as well? Um, yeah, but uh, it's a little bit different. Um, makes I guess we have many Eastern European uh, students, also many Russian students, okay. so because of the location right. also. Okay. Must be yeah, and uh, and we also have many American students because it's an American university. Yeah, so yeah. Okay. Thank you yeah. very much. Thank you. <laughs>